this video, I'm going to show you how to create a favicon. This is a favicon right here. You can see that many different, most different websites will create some sort of favicon that helps you to identify them. And then when you are in your tabbed browser, you'll see them up here in the tab. Sometimes you'll see them here in front of your URL. And you can also see them in your bookmarks. So it's good, a good idea to have one for your website. Typically, it needs to go at the root level. My preferred way to create it is using Photoshop or Illustrator. And you want to start with a square image. And so I'm typically going to start with 64 by 64 pixels, or you could go to 128 by 128, but make sure you're doing it square because it's going to condense and resize. And I often like to actually view this a little larger. I'm using Command Plus. I'm on a Mac today. And then I'm going to simply draw. In this case, I'm going to make it really simple. I'm going to draw a heart. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. You can spend time on it, but bear in mind, you're only going to see it at 16 by 16 pixels, so don't spend a lot of time on it. If you don't like it, just redraw it. But again, not worth getting into a lot of detail because people aren't going to be able to see it that well. Then we choose File, Save for the Web, and a white or transparent background is typically best. And I'm going to save it as a JPEG. I'm going to save it onto my desktop so it's easy to find, and I'm going to call it Favicon. And I'm going to hit Save, and I'm going to replace one that's there. I usually test these before I record them, or I just end up recording them a couple of times. So I'm going to go and convert this into a favicon, which means it needs to come into a .ico. There are very there are various favicon generators. Um, this one is favicon-generator.org, and I'm going to go back to that browse and find my file, which I have right here. And I'm going to choose Open, and I'm going to choose Create Favicon, and then I'm going to download it. Save file. It'll go into my downloaded files. And then I'm just going to drag it over here. And again, I'm going to replace it. And then I can either go into Dreamweaver and replace it in Dreamweaver, or I can go directly into cPanel, into the File Manager. And you want the favicon icon at the top level here. But if it didn't already exist, I could go and I could upload it, browse for it. And I should see my favicon icon right here. Hit Open. And I'm going to replace it. And it will usually takes it 5 or 10 minutes for it to realize that it's changed, even if I refresh this. If I go out to my sample and refresh it, it's going to look pretty similar. It did refresh. Eh, I'm not sure if that's the new one or not. I keep redoing the same heart. I don't think it's changed. It will next time I log in, or I can check it under a different browser. And it should change at some point. It does usually take a few times visiting the site for it to recognize if you've changed your favicon. Um, so don't be surprised if it doesn't show up for 5 or 10 minutes. It's not that uncommon. It doesn't mean it didn't work. Now how are you going to do it if you don't have any particular software? Though you can do it using the free programs on Mac or PC that I showed you how to do photo editing in. They're fine. You can use um, Paint. You can use iPhoto. They all work. But if you want to just create a favicon, you can also just go to favicon.cc and you can just select colors and just draw something right in here. I would keep it simple and mostly straight lines if I were to choose this route. And if you do something you don't like, which I'll do right here, you can choose transparent and you can block it back out. And it'll show you what it's going to look like right here. So my H should be a little thicker there. And here I'm just putting in basically I'm creating high.
very simple, free, and then you can see what it would look like here, and then you can download it. And you'd upload it the same way, either if you're Dreamweaver or your FTP software or dragging it directly into it. And you can see, you can actually, I like this one because you can see right here what it would look like when you generate it. So I want you to create a favicon as one of your assignments this week. And it should go in your top level public underscore HTML folder to be applied. And again, don't get into way too much detail. It has to look good at 16 by 16 pixels. That doesn't allow for a whole bunch of detail. So spend a little bit of time on it, upload it, and that will be one of the things I'm grading for this week.